All right, guys, a bunch of Berea tacos. Nate is putting us to work. We are just right at the good stage right now. Let's see how this comes out. It's midnight. <laughs> the good stage. <laughs> Bottle of Berea coming up. Stick around. All right, so ingredient rundown. Here's what we got. I know, guys, I know this looks like a Jeff Cook. I feel like it's Jeff Cook too. Now I did say it's easy, Beria tacos, but you know, Beria tacos do have a lot of ingredients. So we got cilantro, we got some wahilo, dry chilies, some arbol dry chilies. If I said that wrong, you guys can let me know in the comments. You did, but you, you I probably did. did. You tried okay. Yeah, probably did. Keep going. Yeah. Where are you get it? No, no, I'm just trying to. <laughs> so these, break, these have a nice smoky flavor. These are more about heat. We're gonna use about seven, 10 cloves of garlic. Seven to 10 cloves of garlic. I can put my drink down for this one. <laughs> He's down here with me. I was like, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> some, small, uh, some small flour tortillas. You can use corn. We like flour. I know these guys like flour. Those are not small. Those look like they're for babies. Well, you get to have like eight of them. So <laughs> I don't know how much of this we're gonna need, but I'm gonna use low sodium chicken broth um, instead of water to bring the, the liquid up above the meat. We got some San Marzano, peeled tomatoes, white onion, Mexican cheese, <laughs> oregano, cumin, bay leaf, and I got a truck- pepper. 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 I got a truck roast, and I got two beef shin steaks. You done now? <laughs> oh, and lastly, go ahead, add it, Jeff. You're gonna need a pressure cooker of some sort. So, you know, Instapot, I'm old school. I got the, the plain old stick on the stove one. So now it's time to get these guys to work. This wise guy for giving me a hard time. I'm giving you the hard job. You got the cilantro and you got the onions. So wash like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> on the meat first, because as much as it's fast, it's going to take a while. That's what, oh, forget it. <laughs> so what do I got? I got pot roast. Chuck roast. Chuck roast, whatever you want to call it. I picked, I actually picked a fatty one on purpose, guys, because you kind of need as much fat as you can get. How much per pound? The price is going up. Well, five bucks a pound. That's yeah. not too bad. Can you grab me a couple of paper towels, Chris, over there? And then I got the beef shin steaks. Chris, these were almost the same price, actually, four fifty a pound for shin steak. The reason I got this is I want, I want that bone marrow in the broth. So we're just going to get these chunked up and seasoned, starting with this guy. All yours. Looking for probably about two inch chunks on this. And we got the uh, we got the pressure cooker on medium heat over there, Chris. Can you throw yep. some chuck some oil in that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna go with that size, Jeff. Chris and Jeff, I hope you didn't plan on eating anytime like super quick. No. <laughs> I'm starving. These I'm actually these I'm actually not even gonna cut up at all. So let's just get some seasoning on this. Uh, I just need salt and pepper, which salt I have here. Yeah. Try these off a little bit because it helps them brown. Those are going right into the pot? Right into the pot. Not all of them. Let's do the big chunks first and the, uh, the shin steak second because the pot's not going to be big enough. You want to hit them with some pepper? So I'm kind of curious about this, Nate, because you know how I, I am about pot roast and. Yes, I know uh, you, you. Squishy beef in general. I know you bitch about it a lot. Squishy beef. Beat that out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know you don't like it, but you're gonna love I'm this. Curious. I assure I'm you, you're gonna curious. love this. I know I'm gonna like the sauce. Yeah, I need you to get the other side too. I know I'm gonna like the sauce. Who made the sauce? Who made the sauce? The sauce is gonna be good. But I'm glad you're doing this because I've always wanted to actually try them. I have a hard time pronouncing it. What is it, Berea? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. No. <laughs> I think that's close. <laughs> Let's close. get these in the pot. Pretty close. <laughs> All right, so Nate's got me doing cilantro. Seems like Every time we have a cook, I'm doing cilantro. I'm cilantro pro. And you know why, Jeff? You mess up one five pound bushel or <laughs> half tin of uh, corn salad just because you didn't wash it. And a little sand doesn't, uh, doesn't really taste so great in a uh, corn salad. But anyways, just gonna rinse, rinse again, rinse, repeat. And hey, Nate, what are you doing over there? Take a quick peek in the pot. Microwaving, uh, oh, that pot, yeah. yeah. It's actually just starting to turn the meat. This one got some nice browning on it. <laughs> Don't want to over microwave the bread. 
That's not part of the video. Right. <laughs> yeah, and at the rate Jeff's cleaning the cilantro, that might be 10 o'clock, so. It is amazing how much sand up. is actually in there. You know Chris, when, the, you know when they're, they're at the market and they're sitting there with the sprayed water? What is the yeah. sprayed water for? It's not doing anything. <laughs> right, right. It's, it's not make, cleaning it. Make it look better? Make it look nicer, that's about it, yeah. So I got Chris working, Jeff's holding the camera, he finally finished the cilantro. We got a lot going on. I gotta flip the meat, getting close. Oh, yeah, get some good brownage. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna pull these out in a second. Chris, what are you working on? Just getting the garlic ready for going into that blender, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna have to cut this up. We're gonna let the blender do the work, but now the fun stuff, the peppers. I did make the mistake Scissors? of doing this Scissors. van handed before. It's the easiest way, I'm telling you. This way, you say? <laughs> I mean, look at all those seeds. Get that, Jeff. All right, pal. All right, pal. Good enough. Hello. You guys might be picking up my mic with all this sizzling going over here. I'm pulling this stuff out. How do you pronounce it, Nate? Garagilo? Yeah. Garagilo? Yep. That's how you say it. You nailed it. <laughs> Team missile would be good. I think so. <laughs> not 100% sure, but not 100% sure either. That's the thing about Nate. You can never really tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'll tell us in the comments if we said it wrong. Yeah, Guajilo? Something like that. I think it's Guajilo. Guajilo? Yeah. Guajilo. G is silent? Something like that. All right, how many of those are we doing? Four, five? I'll do one more. So why don't you do like five of them? Jeff, put the camera down and get to work. Ah. Uh, look at those seeds. Huh? How, how do you know not to keep these seeds in? Will they kill us? You'll these, see. There's a lot of seeds. I think you you gotta see what happens. Jeff's gonna have to put some work in and strain them out. I think you should rub your eyes. That's <laughs> yeah. like, use the scissors. All right, yeah. I'll get, I'll get to the onion. Ready. Always doing something at Nate's house. You want more than this, Nate, for the uh, chili peppers? No, that's mm. probably good. I just need this water to come to a boil and then we can dump those in. So the next time you have a party, because you're gonna love this so much, you're gonna be serving at your house. I might, we'll see about the beef pot though. I don't know, chicken sounds good. Do people <laughs> use chicken? <laughs> no. The way they make this, they use a lot of the organ meats and a lot of the like intestinal meats. Oh no, our beef is good. <laughs> Do we leave the root, Chris, or do we take it out? What do you think, Jeff? You're the one crying on camera. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly, took camera. The whole gloves. You don't mess with these peppers or the seeds. All right. Some of us have put our fingers right in our eyes before, right after cut peppers. And we might have used the bathroom. Some of us used the bathroom. <laughs> and learned that lesson the hard way. So we've gone over it before, but. Nice, easy way to dice onions. Leave the root on, not because it makes a difference if you cry or not. Yes, it does. Nice, easy way yes, to dice does. onions. Yeah, <laughs> that too. That's the too. easiest way. Slices into it, the root holds it together. Get some nice browning in the bottom of that pot. I like it. I think your water's ready, Chris. Let me grab it for you. And this is gonna be raw, right, Nate? The yes. onion, you're not sure? All right. What? No, no, not the, just the peppers. Just the peppers? Just the peppers. Sure. Yeah. You're gonna steep those. I'm gonna bunch this cilantro up tight. Stick those in there till we're ready to mix everything up. Jeff, you done yet? You know, the knife's not sharp, that's why. <laughs> not in my house. <laughs> get over here and get to work. Pay attention to it. Come on, dude. This guy is a slacker. Are you serious? Get over there. Yeah, on the paper it says Chris is doing this. I wasn't even paying attention. Did it, right. did it really say I'm doing it? Yeah. We're forcing Jeff to do all this because Jeff and Chris are gonna make this at their house. I know they are. Start dumping stuff in. Half a can of tomatoes, Jeff. I should see right. both of us. So, half a can of peeled tomatoes. Those are peeled plum tomatoes, but I couldn't really get full plum, so I got San Marzano. Those are really good, by the way. Was it you or Chris that put me onto the uh, diced garlic? And garlic and jalapeno? Yeah. Mm, those are so good. Doing whole onion, chopped roughly. That's one white onion. One white onion. One large white onion. We're doing the rest of the cilantro, which is about three quarters of a bunch. And it damn well better be washed, Jeff. We got a lot of garlic. That's 10 cloves, I think. 10 cloves. We're left of a whole head. We got healthy. I'm gonna call that two or eh, a tablespoon and a half of oregano. So the whole thing with the cumin and the oregano is you gotta look at how much you have in there and figure out how much you want. Like, you can throw a little bit. Throw another couple tomatoes Cumans in there. In there. Cool. We'll have you in the cumin too. Thank yeah, I, I want a little, a little extra. Oh, well, now I, now I'm lost. All right, we got salt. Yeah, good dose of salt, tablespoon or so. Tablespoon or so, and the chicken, softened chicken peppers. Stock? Yeah. Stock? 
And I don't, it's kind of a, from everything I've done and, and cooking this a few times now. We're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> the liquid from the peppers. Some people say it makes it bitter. I tend to agree, you know, I, I don't know. So I'm gonna leave it out. I'm gonna actually replace that. That's what the low sodium chicken broth is for. How much? I don't know, enough to blend it. This isn't your first day. About a half cup, three quarters. That. Oh, so this is key, guys. Blend the Evlip and heck out of this. Uh, you really, 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 really want to get Plug a Plug it in blend. first. <laughs> Sorry, Nate. What was that? Say that one more time. What, what do you have to do? Yeah, well, first off, you have to figure out how to use the blender. And the trick is to be smarter than the blender. This is a horrible blender. <laughs> <laughs> how long, how long do we wait? How long do we wait? <laughs> what kind of stuff does this guy buy? All right, it's going to be loud. Once you push it down, go right to the fastest setting and let it go. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Assistant, good job. Throw some more chicken stock in. Freaking arrows. And we got a lot of nice browning going. Chris, is that focusing on that? You rest? I think so. Looks good. Browning. Wow, Chris and I just took a bite. It does taste like paper though, a little bit. And so that's why Chris is gonna have to put some work in here. Even though we blended this, like probably what a solid three minutes on super high. Yeah. Some people go right into the pot with this. Oh, two minutes and uh, like 46 seconds because I had to spend some time figuring that thing out. And so some people go right into the pot like this, but uh, I, I like to put it through a strainer. It's kind of a pain in the butt to work it through the strainer. So that's why Chris has that job now. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Yeah, look, go easy. Good go call, easy. good call. So what this does is it, it takes out any of those super fine little bits of pepper peel. Because yeah. the, the, the dried peppers and the seeds, and the seeds, they tend to stick around. Did you, uh, you ever use cheesecloth for that? No. It's no. barely going through this. It's not going to go through That's cheesecloth. That's what I said. You gotta yeah. Scoop it from the bottom. Don't keep pressing it. Like, scoop off the bottom. Yeah. Chris, can you try a little harder? Can you go a little faster, Chris? Like, just put some effort into it. I'll tell you what, why don't you give me your uh, salad spinner? <laughs> nice. Uh, I, 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 that could actually work. All right, let's shut off the cameras. We'll come back in like 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> Five hours later. So, check this out. Get some beautiful goodness. I was going, I was going right for the get pot. Over there. Beautiful goodness down in the pot. I'm gonna get the heat back on that. Leave the fat in there. Do not take the fat out. I'm gonna start putting all this back in. Yeah, we can do this the fast way, right? And now, are we done, Chris? Are we done? You know, we're not done, not even close. It's gotta be an easier way. Just <laughs> <laughs> playing a joke on me with this? Well, you know, you wanna have good Tell eats. me you've done this before, cause this yes. is, look at. Well, you don't have to do it. A lot of people just throw it right in like that. But, you know. Really? I wanna make this extra special for you guys. <laughs> All right, that's good enough. Let's dump it in. Dump the liquid. I'm serious. You're good. Dump all of this in? No, no, no. Dump this in. Put that over the sink. <laughs> so this is the part I wanted. That is delicious. So that's going in here. Chris, give me a little scoop of that. And then we're going to top that up with the chicken stock and a lot of oil. Where'd that other can of stock go? Chris? Uh, to the closet. Thought you were done. Seriously. <laughs> can't, go, can't get good help, I'm telling you. So what we want to do is get the liquid just about up to the level of the meat. And you can use water for that. I'm going to kick it up a little bit. That's what the low sodium chicken broth is for. The reason it's low sodium is I don't want to go too much salt, right? And now the last ingredient before we put this under pressure. It smells so good. It really does. Last ingredient is, what was the last ingredient? Uh, lime. No, it wasn't lime. Pepper. No, it wasn't pepper, but I appreciate the help. It was oh, oil. Oil, lots of oil. <laughs> so, so you need oil to, uh, I'm gonna go probably a strong, almost a cup here. If it's just cooked, it's three eggs. You need oil <laughs> because we're gonna skim that, hopefully we're gonna skim that off the top to dip the tortillas in when we put them down on the griddle. I don't know if this is gonna work because with a pressure cooker, it gets to such a high temperature and such pressure, it might actually emulsify the oil into the cooking liquid. So we might not get it. If we don't, we'll make do. But either way, we'll figure it out. That's why you're here with us. Now we wait. Now we wait. You said five minutes? No, we're gonna shoot for Probably you can do 45 minutes and then a natural cool. If you have a pressure cooker, you know what that is. Or I'm probably gonna shoot for like 55 or 60 and then do a quick cool in the sink. So we'll get that on high, lock it, set it and forget it. All right. All right, so it's been 40, <laughs> sorry. <My bad. laughs> it's been 45 minutes. Gonna cool this. 45 long minutes. 
We're almost there, guys, almost there. So I don't think you can do this with the Instapot. They have a, a quick release. I know, I have one, but I don't think I can put it underwater. No, well, you don't have to. You just hit the, <laughs> the instant release, don't you? Yeah. Oh, hear it? Just released. This is, the, this is the old school stuff. I don't have that newfangled technology like you youngsters. Yeah, nice. Nice, so we're having beef stew Ooh, tonight? It smells good. It smells good. Maria. That smells delicious. All right, let's go. All right, so the good news is the fat did rise to the top. So now we can skim that off and we can fry the tortillas in that. And I'm very happy that I added in all the extra oil because this right there is magic. gold. It's gonna be delish. <laughs> The magic. There's your food porn right there. That's the magic. I am smiling on the outside and the inside. So where's the griddle come into this? Next. Well, maybe not next, next. I am gonna, oh yeah? I think so, I should go warm it up. Yes, you should. I'll go do that. You know, don't forget your mic is on. I, I know he's gonna talk about us when he gets out there and mumbling to himself, <laughs> yeah. not realizing that the mic's still on. That level of concentration. It's nice that it's separated so much. Yeah. You don't have that uh, ass scene on TV, uh, bear claw pork shredder and claws? I do not. I do not, but I do have a missing potato masher. Here it is. And I have a spider, and we gotta get the bones out. There is two bones in there from the, uh... here's one. So this is a good sign. That means all the bone marrow is in the broth. Nice. Nice. How clean that is. Yep, oh, and there's the other bone. Beautiful. Whew, that's hot. <laughs> Did you think it wouldn't be? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing with that? Because that smells amazing. That's, that is what you dip your taco back in. So mm -hmm. have you, you, you have you not watched any Beria taco videos? It's I, like a French dip. So you make the taco and you take a cup of the broth, dip it back in the broth and then eat it. So that's the, the version of au jus for Beria tacos? Correct. For Oaxaca, Mexico, nice. maybe. Nice. Might have said that wrong. Might have the wrong region. <laughs> Who knows? You get something stuck in your throat. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bless you. So here, yeah, film this, Jeff. This is the easy way to turn pressure cooked meat into pulled something. All right, just get in there. It's not as fancy as the bear claws, but it seems to work actually better. There we go. Barilla tacos. That gets us one step closer. Oh, that's yeah, perfect. Good. Nice job. Up next. Only uh, 17 hours later, we're up almost next. there. Up next, we're ready to head out to the griddle. Uh, Griddle's warming up. Throwing down some cheese. I grab the meat. Nate's got the meat. Who's got the meat? Nate's got the meat. Nate's got the meat. Oh, this smells delicious. Oh, yeah. Just fill the griddle, Chris. Fill the griddle. This is the money right here. This is where it helps to have six hands, guys. <laughs> so you should use Oaxaca cheese. I don't have any at my market, so this is just a cheese blend of sort of standard Mexican four cheese. Man, the smell's coming off of this. And I love cilantro and onions, so feel free to go healthy. Did I miss one? There we go. I'm gonna need your uh, spatula <laughs> thing, your, your spatula thing. All right, just squirt, that's it. Let's just squirt it like that. Yeah, it's a little hot though. Yeah, you can go. <laughs> Whoop! They got a little crispy, which is what we want. Um, you wanna grab a plate, Chris? Yep. Some of the Smells so good! Woo! Damn! All right, guys, so here's what happened. <laughs> The memory card filled up on the camera. We are not professionals and we did not stay in a Holiday Inn Express last night, but we do have some good grub. So tacos are done. We've been mowing on them while transferring files from the memory card to the computer. What's the consensus, boys? Excellent. I was very worried about this because like I told you, I'm not, I don't like um, squishy beef, if you, what do you call it? That's S fair. Pot squishy, roast squishy beef, beef I, I've fair. never been a pot roast guy, I just not my thing. But I'll tell you, the texture of this is fantastic. The crunch wrap, what turns out. Yeah, it gets nice and crispy when you God, fry it in that delicious. fat. Delicious. Could you have cut these a little thicker, Chris? Relax. The cheese, <laughs> excellent. The cheese adds a lot inside. You did do it a lot of cheese, which I think really makes yeah. it better. With the so onions and the cilantro. What about the lime? Excellent. In the lime. Yeah, for me, the broth is the winner. Yeah, yeah that does go a long way. That broth is like a delicious soup. And you know what I like, Nate? Every time you dip it in, you end up with like onions and cilantro inside the broth. Mm -hmm. So your next bite, you can get some even more. It's good. It's good. 
Very good. Wow. I'm glad you did this. Thank you. Because I, I always wanted to try it and do it. Didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. And it's delicious. It's a lot of wow. work for you, not me. Mm. I will say this though. If you want to do this, a lot of this you can do ahead. So you can pressure cook the beef ahead and just put it on the griddle. You saw it. It took literally two minutes or 10, maybe five minutes tops, right? Oh, on the grill? Yeah. Yeah, it's quick when it's on the grill. And then obviously you can cut up the onion and cilantro ahead of time. Cut the, you know, have everything pre-done. That's so tasty. I just have that flavor in my Delicious. mouth. Mm. So anyways, another thing we forgot to do, can you guys like and subscribe? <laughs> Please. We actually had it on the list. Ask early in the video and then we forgot <laughs> to do it. So, but anyways. We're very forgetful. <laughs> mm. This is delicious, Nate. Yeah, very good. You like it, man. Very, very good. Hey, can Cheers. we get it done? We get it yeah. done. One, One, two, three, three. done. done. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Thank we'll you. We'll see you on the next video. I swear it'll be quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. It might be Jeff's. <laughs> <laughs>